Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bazak here. Um, today I'm at Famous Birthdays and I have this little bucket. Oh, it's not a bucket. I don't really know what it is, but it's got a lot of questions that fans asked me. And yeah, I'm basically gonna sit here and answer them, so. I'm nervous. I'm not even gonna lie. Do you have any phobias? Um, yeah, I got a few actually. Um, my phobias would be snakes and spiders. I feel like everyone has that phobia, but like just looking at them, like it scares me. I can't do it. No, 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 no. Why did you change your name to Bad Zach? Oh, story time. All right. So what happened was, was when I first started social media, um, I was Brad Zach, the one with the pineapple. That guy. yeah, that uh huh. Um, when I first started, I was very raw and authentic, and I was myself. And a lot of brands and people didn't want to work with me for that reason. So I cleaned up my image and I made my whole image like good online, and I made it look like I was a little you know nice, innocent, sweet boy. Um, and I don't know, just after a while, it kind of became stressful doing that for three years, like hiding my life and hiding who I was truly. And I felt like just changing my name would, I don't know, kind of make a statement. And then I also got rid of the pineapple. It had to go. That was a no-no. And then, yeah, now I'm bad, Zach. Do you remember the first time a fan recognized you in public? How did you react? Um, mm, yeah, I think it was at Walmart, actually. And it was in my hometown, so that's what made it, like, really weird to me. But I was just walking around Walmart getting some cookies and stuff. And then I just hear a little girl scream, Zach! I lose my voice. Uh, a girl screamed my name, and like it just like kind of scared me. I was not expecting to like be where I like live, and then some random person yelled my name. So yeah, that was it. Have you had any embarrassing moments on stage? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I think I've like slipped on stage, like on water. I fell and like busted my butt in front of everybody, and. I forgot my lyrics a few times and like, I don't know, it's, for me personally, that's just like embarrassing and like, it's just, it gets awkward when you forget your words. Anyways. All my friends are dead. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Myself. Ah, I'm kidding. No, no, no. Um, personally, if I'm being actually honest, I think who I watch the most would be David Dober. I for sure love David's vlogs. And myself. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Favorite and least favorite social media app? Um, favorite low-key has been Instagram lately. Like, I don't know, like, everybody used to use Snapchat, then they came out with the update, and then I didn't really use it after the update. Um, so I would say favorite is Instagram. Least favorite is Twitter. I don't really like Twitter that much, honestly. Favorite song to sing live? Um, Off-White, no, I'm kidding. Actually, yeah, I like doing Off-White Live. That is like so sick, cause I, I'll scream like the first part, like swish on my kick, and then all the fans go Off-White, and it's, it's dope, it's dope. What's your favorite TV show? I actually don't watch TV. I haven't since I was a kid, since I was probably, well, I still am a kid, but since I was like 13, low key. Um, but I would say Drake and Josh is my favorite TV show of all time. <laughs> what are your future goals? Future goals are to be happy with myself and with my life that I'm living, and to have clear skin, and yeah, and give me a little boo thing. Little boo thing. <laughs> Are you releasing new music soon? Yo, I've been sleeping on the music. I haven't put out a song in a while, but yes, I have like so many songs like unreleased that are just waiting. I'm just waiting for the right time, all right? But I will. No cap, no Colin Kaepernick. At what age did you start singing? I've kind of like sang my whole life, like just like as a fun thing to do, like throughout the day. But like seriously, like singing and like doing vocal classes and stuff. I think I was 15, 15, 14, 15. Yeah, probably about 14, 15 when I started making music and stuff. What's your dream car? I'm not really like a car geek. I honestly don't know a lot of cars. Like if we're driving and you would say like, what car is that? I won't, I won't know the answer. Um, I want a Range Rover though. I think Range Rovers are nice. How was your experience on the Left Me Hanging tour with Jacob Sartorius? What was your favorite city? That was honestly the funnest. Well, yeah, that was probably the funnest times I had in a while. Jacob is goofy. That's all I gotta say. Jacob's so funny. And his, and his set, like personally, like when he performs, like when he do, like his concerts are so good. Like he has like a whole thing set up, and it's amazing. Um, favorite city? Um, my favorite city, I'd probably say is 
when we were in Texas, I forgot which one it was. I think it was Houston, maybe. The Texas shows are always the best ones. Because that's where I leave. Who's your celebrity crush? Ooh, Ariana Grande. So beautiful. If you see this someday, like somehow. <laughs> if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be and why? If I could collaborate with anybody. Mac Miller. Growing up, my brother was so obsessed with Mac Miller, so it kind of made me obsessed with him in a way. So yeah, Mac Miller, hit me up, dog. All right, y'all, those are all the questions I got. Be sure to check out my socials at BadZachX. I need to get rid of the X. I know it's kind of ugly. Just give me one day, it'll be just BadZach. But yeah, check me out. Peace out.